Welcome to this special edition of the World Trade Webcast. Today on the World Trade Webcast, we're featuring the new .global top-level domain. Our guest today is Rolf Larson, CEO of the .global registry. Rolf, welcome to our digital studio. Thank you, Greg. Happy to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. And for our viewers' background, companies and organizations, large and small, can consolidate their internet branding on the .global registry platform. The .global name is the preferred domain for companies and organizations selling their products and services on a global basis. .global offers the perfect unifying domain extension for multinational organizations operating with a multitude of generic and geographic domains in their portfolio. And Rolf, before we talk more about .global, can you give us some context regarding the new TLD program? Yeah. Um, so the new TLD program uh, actually started quite quite a long time ago, uh, back in um, just after uh, year 2000, um, when we started to see some um, saturation within the existing few domain names that were at that time, like Comnet Org, and um, and uh, the, the local uh, TLDs that you have in each country, like uh, CoUK uh, or .de and, and such. So, so we're starting to see some saturation, and, uh, and ICANN, the, the body that uh, governs um, this namespace on the internet, uh, chose to start to, to expand the namespace. And it started with a very few uh, names. Uh, so we saw .info, we saw .mobi, we saw .biz, and, and a few others. Um, and uh, over uh, the next years, um, uh, a new uh, program was uh, about to launch, and, and the new name program was um, to really expand uh, the namespace where you could find uh, names within uh, various interest fields and, and you know, names that uh, could uh, uh, be a choice for, for whatever the, the need uh, for any branding online should be. So, um, so this uh, new program uh, launched uh, in 2011. Um, that's when it was announced and, and ready. So it took many years to, to uh, finish this program and, and uh, document it and, and make the rules for it. Um, and then um, uh, it took some years with, um, with um, uh, a lot of applicants, of course, um, uh, and, uh, and some applicants uh, like ourselves uh, do, did apply to, to uh, expand the namespace with names that uh, anyone uh, out there could, um, could acquire and buy, uh, while others, for example, like uh, BMW or, or many other uh, big brand names, chose to go for their own names as, uh, as a new top-level domain and, and have their own uh, branding online with their own set of domain ending. Instead of .com, they would have .bmw. So, um, so this uh, new uh, namespace is, uh, is uh, something that is really needed in the world because uh, with, um, with such uh, saturated um, uh, namespace within the very popular .com, uh, but also .NET, .org, we see many uh, CCTLDs or country domains are uh, equally saturated, meaning that it's very hard to find um, a usable name or a name that you uh, wish to have. Uh, and uh, these new names that come out now uh, will give you a lot of new options. And that's, um, that's what we take part in with uh, Dove Global. Excellent. That's a terrific overview. And so let's talk a little bit more about the implications for businesses. You mentioned um, more options. And so now a business could have, you know, a dot .global uh, domain name. And we'll certainly be talking about that more in our later segments. But in general, uh, will the public understand uh, and be able to readily access these new sites, dot .global and all the others that are now available? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, accessing the sites uh, with these new names will be equally easy as uh, you have with .com or any other existing um, top-level domain. So, so it won't be, feel any different. It's just that there will be a multitude of choices, and those choices will be available where you normally would uh, acquire a .com or, or a CCTLD uh, today. Excellent. Well, that's a terrific overview. And Thanks, um, 
so much for providing that during our first segment here. And for our viewers, uh, thanks for watching. And please tune in again for the second part of our interview with Rolf Larson, CEO of the Dot Global Registry, online at go.global.